Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, it's rant time. We're going to talk about Filippo Loretti and why I think they may be worse than movement. <laughs> but of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the Rolex Pepsi Master GMT 16710, one of my recent pickups, absolutely loving it. And also, a short little announcement. If you're American, you may know 4th of July is in a couple of days. That's our Independence Day. Uh, so, happy 4th of July to everybody, you know, ahead of time. But I'm going to be taking a little break from YouTube. Not long, but I'll be gone for about a week. Delray Watch is still open. YouTube, though, taking a break for about a week. And of course, go check out DelrayWatch.com. Bunch of new watches in stock, including a Pepsi bezel Rolex and an Explorer 1. All that and more. DelrayWatch.com, link in the description below. So yeah, this is an impromptu video. <laughs> I've known Filippo already, about Filippo already for a while. Now for you guys that don't know, Filippo already uh, is not an Italian brand. It's actually a Lithuanian brand <laughs> of watch that kicked off on Kickstarter a while ago and was actually very successful. Um, the guys at Filippo already are master marketers, and uh, they've been caught actually messing up a few times, but they do make a handsome watch, I will give them that. But why this rant, and why today? Well, I was watching YouTube uh, at work, by the way, that is uh, totally a work function, you know, market research. <laughs> I was watching YouTube, and a Filippo Loretti commercial came up, which I'm not going to play for you here, uh, because... I just don't want to get in trouble, but basically saying, you know, a true luxury watch for not the luxury watch price, super high quality, but they cut out the middleman so you can buy it directly at filippoloretti.com. Why spend thousands of dollars on a luxury watch when you can buy Filippo Loretti for a fraction of the price? Bullshit! I mean, the biggest heap of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I thought movement was bad. I thought Daniel Wellington was bad. But correct me if I'm wrong, they didn't compare themselves to true luxury watches. I mean, so first of all, first issue, it's not a luxury watch. Now guys, I'm not a snob. I love Seiko. I love Orient. I love Timex. I'm not telling you if you, to get a good watch, you need a Rolex. You know, if you only have a couple hundred dollars to spend, or even less, thousands of interesting choices. Orient, Seiko, uh, Vostok, Timex, G-Shock, I mean, you got hundreds of choices. But they don't go around calling themselves true luxury watches. This cutting, cutting out the middleman bullshit is also just ridiculous. Basically, they're saying since they don't sell in Macy's, uh, you know, you save a ton of money. Which is partially true, because I guess... Without a middleman, uh, there's no cut to give. But there's still Chinese crap watches made entirely in China um, with Chinese quartz movements, uh, Chinese-made cases. And this is, not all Chinese watches are bad, but there's still like two, three hundred dollar watches that they make for like nine to ten bucks. I mean, they're still god-awful. Seagull, great Chinese watch. Filippo already, absolute garbage. Not to mention, if you dig around a little bit, you can see a few deceptive marketing practices Filippo already did. It, on their first website, uh, which you can actually find this on the Wayback Machine or if you do a little bit of Googling, on top of their watches, they posted a movement shot, uh, like, a, like a naked watch movement shot, which was an El Primero, which is in none of the Filippo Loretti watches, and then people discovered it, that they stole it from the Zenith website. Not to mention the name. Who is Filippo Loretti? Not a real person. Completely made up. Has nothing to do with Italian heritage. The brand is made by Lithuanians that are dropshipping Chinese watches. Oh, actually, I'm not entirely sure about dropshipping, but definitely Chinese crap watches. Nothing luxury about them. Now, yes, most of you guys aren't going to fall for it, okay? People that watch this channel, we're watch lovers. I get it. But all the people um, that just want a nice watch, that don't know anything about watches, will see this commercial and be like, oh, cutting out the middleman? Exotic Italian brand? They make a handsome watch, which actually they do. You know, 300 bucks is a steal. Little do they know. I mean... 
Okay, I guess they're not worse than movement, but they certainly annoyed me more than movement. And movement never posted a picture of an El Primero movement on their website either. So, so actually, I'm not entirely sure. This smells just like a, a, a scam. I mean, a big, you know, a big marketing uh, ploy with zero substance. I don't know what else to say. Maybe I'm overreacting. I don't know. But when I saw that commercial, I got really annoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm genuinely curious. Also, guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help. And don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, I'm done being annoyed for the day. I've got to go back to work. And then I'm going to enjoy my 4th of July break. Guys, I hope you have a great holiday. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. Uh, I'll catch you in about a week. Thank you so much. Take care.